Developments in a story we first broke last year involving a bitter fight between the city of San Francisco and PG&E. It's a dispute that threatens to cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Only on 5, Wilson Walker shows us the latest public project getting caught in the middle. From waves of new sunlight to the fresh lane tiles, Balboa Pool is already shimmering amid its $10 million renovation, a job that should have been finished in the fall of last year. We're, you know, literally now beholden on, you know, frankly, a private entity to, uh, to make sure that the lights are on. Yeah, while some work goes on here, major electrical and mechanical work has been turned off amid the city's ongoing dispute with PG&E. So the pool sits unplastered as the two sides sort out exactly how the building should be powered. So we don't understand why PG&E is requiring this unnecessary equipment, which is going to take more money and it's going to take more time. It is an unconventional situation. You have the city's public utility agency and PG&E coexisting as both partners and competitors and fuses keep blowing whenever a project like this requires getting those two systems plugged in together. And that's currently being hashed out right now at the uh, Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. But in the meantime, as you've noted, um, these kinds of issues are piling up. It was about a year ago when we first uncovered this power struggle, at the time causing a significant delay at the Randall Museum. Once again, we're a little stuck. Phil Ginsburg is head of San Francisco Rec and Park, now swimming into something of a setback medley because this job is part of a three pool package unfolding in a sequence. So renovations at Rossi Pool in the Richmond and Garfield Pool in the Mission might also be affected if one delay cascades into three. Um, delays actually cost money. Current estimated tab just at Balboa Pool, a 13 month delay costing $800,000. Now, in a statement, PGE says it is working to, quote, complete the electric upgrade safely and as quickly as possible, but a lot of folks are running out of patience. I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. All I care about is I want the pool open. That is District 11 Supervisor Asha Safai, who, after our calls, started calling up all parties in hopes of brokering some kind of agreement. So I'm, I'm calling all the parties together. We're going to have a meeting. We're going to get all the smartest engineers in the room, and we're going to see how we can resolve this and fast forward the project. All right, so hopefully the pool gets sorted out like the Randall Museum ultimately was, but this disagreement still affects all kinds of projects across San Francisco with a potential taxpayer price tag of more than half a billion dollars. And while the city keeps hoping the feds will resolve this, there is no indication that a ruling is coming anytime soon. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.